Uh, here we are again at the Passive House in the Woods. I'm Josh with More Construction. And uh, we're just going to take a quick look at uh, the makeup of the parapet wall. We are standing on the roof of uh, the Passive House in the Woods. It's a great view and it's a perfect day for it. So um, you can uh, get a glimpse of what the homeowner is going to be enjoying when the project is completed. Then he'll be about a foot taller. That's right. We will be standing on additional insulation, so this will actually be closer to a 36 inch uh, height. This parapet wall is uh, roughly 30 inches deep, which will provide a nice uh, safety barrier between the, the homeowner and the outside. We have an ICF structure that extends from the footing all the way up to this level. We are on a two story walkout, so it's about roughly 30 feet high. And on the inside of this wall, to protect that thermal mass from sub-zero temperatures, we've got six inches underneath here of polyisocyanurate, and then we've got three inches on this face. On the outside face of the parapet wall, which is the ICF, we have an, the additional 11 inches of EPS foam that goes all the way from the footing and all the way up. On top here, we've got a couple layers of plywood. We're pitched in. Uh, for water runoff, that makes make sure we don't have water running down the side of the house and creating drip lines. <clears throat> On the outside, and this will have an aluminum coping cap that will cover this off and give it a nice finish. On the inside face, in addition to, to the three-inch foam, we'll have a layer of plywood. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's primarily for attaching the rubber EPDM membrane, and then we'll have an additional two inches of EPS and that ser serves as a substrate for the, uh, the acrylic stucco and that's a still product. So that's essentially the makeup of the parapet wall.